Hey guys, this is Sunsfan and this is an introduction to Faceless Void. Faceless Void is one of the hardest late game carries in the game, but is heavily dependent on consistent farm. His first skill, Time Walk, is a blink of sorts that will allow you to leap to a position up to 1300 units away. Any enemy unit that you happen to pass through will have their movement speed and attack speed slowed by 40% for 3 seconds. One thing to remember about this skill is the fact that you're invulnerable while in this state, thus allowing you to disjoint spells with the right timing. Backtrack is a passive ability that gives you a 25% chance to dodge enemy attacks at level 4. When I say attacks, I mean both physical and magical attacks. The best part of this skill, and one of the reasons for picking up a butterfly with Void, is the fact that the 25% evasion from Backtrack is actually stackable, which is a very rare mechanic in Dota 2. Time Lock is Void's second passive ability, which at level 4 will give you a 25% chance to deal an extra 70 bonus damage, and more importantly, stun the target for one second. You can imagine how well this ability scales into the late game as your attack speed gets higher and higher. Chronosphere is a 600 AoE ability that will create a sphere which will cause all units, including towers, to be rendered useless in the fact that they will not be able to move cast spells or attack for 5 seconds. This sphere will also reveal invisible units in its area. Before you start using Chronosphere on anything that moves, just remember that it will stun your allies in place too, so positioning is key. Aghanim's Scepter can also be picked up by Void, which aids in lowering the cooldown of his ultimate from 100 seconds to 60, as well as increasing the duration of Chronosphere itself from 5 to 6 seconds. Thanks for watching guys, and remember to subscribe to our YouTube, also be sure to check out Dota2Portal.org and StreamDota2.com. My name is Sunspan, and until next time.